Good morning, this is Pastor Lim with Goodland United Methodist Church. 37 days until Easter. Matthew 21, 1 through 3 says, when, we, when they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus then sent two disciples, telling them, Go into the village ahead of you. At once you will find a donkey tied there and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you should say that the Lord needs them, and immediately he will send them. Why own what you can borrow? At the mere suggestion of this, our modern ears are dumbfounded. That's just not the way we do it anymore. Perhaps if Jesus had been a modern preacher, he might have made an impassioned plea for money to buy his own triumphal entry donkey. We can almost hear his rhetoric. Step right up. We must raise a hundred denarii to buy this strong, young, triumphal entry donkey. Cash, check, money order are welcome. Be a part of this world-changing event, the triumphal entry. If your pledge is large enough, this marvelous beast can even be named after you. But Jesus was not out to own a donkey. The kingdom could be served best, in fact, if Jesus owned nothing. So he only borrowed the donkey. After all, he just needed it for a short ride. He merely wanted it as a means of making a statement. He was only going to use it as a way of declaring that the Messiah was on earth. He required it in order to fulfill the words of Zechariah. After that, the prophecy would be fulfilled and the donkey could be returned to its owner. Strangely, the owner seemed quite congenial in loaning it to him. Is it not remarkable that he made no requirement to be recognized as the donor? He marked no little plaque which read, Donkey courtesy of me. No, the master had need of a donkey, and this unnamed man, who was privy to Jesus' right to lordship, said, Here, take the donkey. Go and make the prophet Zechariah look good. Thus, in this one little passage of scripture, Jesus teaches us how to use possessions without being possessed by them. And an unknown donkey owner is seen participating in the plan of the ages. His example challenges us to always be open to the possibilities of God. Something we own even now may be of use to Jesus. Let us be swift and generous in the surrender of all our gifts to him. After all, Better a monarch on a donkey than a tyrant on a steed. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a great day.